One, let's go. Kenny. Delilah. Aerials one and two at Big Sky Weekend. Uh, so the first thing that we did was a trip flip. Um, we'll shuffle this around. Uh, right hand around the waist area. Um, this hand hold here. Yeah. All right. And I'm looking good in this position. Um, I'll shuffle around this way. Kenny's really good at getting low and getting in a compromised position, so I, I'm still straight up and down. Um, one thing we talked about is having the hand nice and straight with my, with my arm and my elbow, and it has a slightly inward rotation, so that way when I flip, I'm in a place of strength. Okay. Uh, this arm, on, left arm for flyers, I just rest it comfortably. Um, I don't cross my body or anything, because that will make me roll funny. Just rest it right there for stabilization. Okay. Up prep. Up prep. Um, our up prep goal is getting nice and balanced up there since we only have so little contact. Yeah. Um, it's a good practice to be able to get up there and hold it well. Um, I'm not jumping and tucking, I'm more rolling. As I'm coming up, as I'm being brought up, I seek and drive up with both legs into a tuck position. I'm thinking to drive through my heels, which means keeping them on the ground, butting that course through my legs and butt, making sure that I can continue to hopefully let that come out in front of me. Slow over. Slow. Medium over. Medium. Medium over. Medium. medium. Yeah, medium. Medium. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> All right. Uh, those are always hard to do. It's nicer when you got that follow through, and I'm thinking 40, 45 degree angle. Uh, this turns into a base uh, platform really quickly. Thinking about just almost like a right angle. Uh, trying to always have a relaxed upper arm. Going over. Yeah, going over. Um, I'm just seeking, like I said, here, uh, I come up, I, f I make sure I keep rolling backwards. As we do a large rover, I kind of think of going up on the 45 to match Kenny's throw on the 45 to get um, height. Going over with the entrance? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go here to there. That sounds good. So they... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, going over. Come on, both hands. Okay. okay. Going over. Yeah. Um, back folks, when I go over, I roll and I don't seek like this. I wait until I can see the ground and then I follow it. Here, boom, find my leader's feet, knees, hips, chest. Try to be able to stand up. Drift flip, all right, Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill. Oh. So, uh, I usually do rock, step, step, and I come down, I seek for the hip bones. And I drive up with my left. So that's just our down prep or replacing. Do you have anything to say? Uh, reach for your partner so you're ready to absorb for the next thing, which is the up prep. Mm -hmm. Up prep, and you're gonna not go full blown because I can't stop you. Okay. Cool. Tiny up prep. Boom, bop, bop, boom. All right. And so if we had spotters, we'd eventually aim for blocking. Delilah's aiming for a heel, heel drive. They're going to support the lower back, and one hand's going to be high in case they need to block. Um, and then going over, spotter-wise, we have arms on the lower back area, and then maybe one person ahead so they can catch any additional forward momentum. Um, uh, make sure that you have gush in it. It gives it that pop and makes it look more like uh, an aerial instead of a front walkover. Um, so I absorb, I absorb, and then I push. I drive through with my left, and I land on my left first. Going over. Going over. Ready? Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and notice that I'm looking. I'm sending my partner. Did you want to do that again? Yeah, let's go to the other side just so they see that they're going. Okay. <laughs> going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Outlaw? Blue outlaw? Blue outlaw. Okay. Four point stance, trying to keep um, a good hip crease. My butt is over a 90 degree angle so that I'm still in this very strong position. I reach out in front of me, so I'm sending some of my center of mass there, so I'm ready to receive my partner. I come up and I waddle up. I duck my head a little bit. Make contact with his back, and then I shoot my arms through onto the upper thighs and I push out. Okay. So, y'all can't see that. So what I do is 
as I come through, right on the upper thighs, I come in and I make contact pulling outwards, keeping my wrists and hands uh, pulling away. I right. make nice contact. Up prep? Up prep. Which is just raising a little bit, trying to keep my hips where they are. We make contact. Okay. And we come up and I try to be as light and active as possible. You want to go a slow over? Sure. From here? From here, I shimmy down and then seek the ground and keep my hips up. Hopefully she just loosened, then I can reach onto the armpits. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, why didn't I put that down? I know. Um, for realsies. Uh, for realsies. And the only other note I have is make sure follows you're not walking past and having your legs past the shoulders, because then you might get stuck on arms. Okay. Okay. Real thing, uh, we like creating some sort of stretch release. And I have to make sure to let go in time. Let's actually switch on this so we'll see yeah. the release. Yeah. Because like Delilah needs her arms in time. We're not going to pull. We're not going to like, suggest where she goes. Mm -hmm. She knows where her arms to go. Okay. And I just dive straight forward, catch, and the catch sends me around. Okay. Okay. Going over. Going? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Having momentum is fun. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. Yeah. Cool. Good Thank work. Thank you. Thank you.